Hi, I'm Drew Dumas, the head repair technician at Tapestry Music. Today I'm going to show you how to play the trombone. I'm going to start with how to buzz on the mouthpiece, how to assemble the trombone, how to hold the trombone, and then how to play your first five notes. We're going to start with learning how to buzz on the mouthpiece. The first thing we need to do is say the letter M. Just gently, not too much pressure on our lips pressing together. Just the letter M gently. After that we're going to press the mouthpiece onto our lips gently, take a big breath, and try and buzz into the mouthpiece, making sure that we're blowing plenty of air through the mouthpiece, just like this. Before we're ready to assemble the trombone, we need to learn a little bit about the slide section of the trombone. You'll notice that up towards the square section of the slide, there's a small mechanism to engage the slide lock. It's just a turning mechanism to prevent the slide from moving when you don't want it to. Right now the slide lock is engaged. To disengage it, turn it counterclockwise, and the slide is able to move freely. To re-engage it, turn it clockwise again until it's preventing the slide from moving. So now that we've learned how to buzz on the mouthpiece, and we've learned about the slide lock mechanism on the slide, we're ready to assemble the trombone. First thing we want to do is take the, slide, or the bell section of the trombone into our left hand, lifting it, keeping the bell section towards the floor. This prevents the tuning slide from falling out if we're to hold it upside down. So remember, keep the bell section towards the floor. In our right hand, we'll take the slide, picking it up from the square end, keeping the square end towards the ceiling or the rounded end towards the floor, we're going to insert the taller section into the bell receiver. Best thing to do is to insert them flat like this and then give the bell section a 90 degree turn, tightening this nut down just until it's finger tight. You don't want to overdo it because it's going to get stuck. If that happens, you can either take the trombone to your teacher or bring it into Tapestry Music and we'll fix it for you. The last thing we need to do is put the mouthpiece in the trombone. Picking up the mouthpiece, we gently insert it into the receiver and give it a clockwise turn. Now we're ready to play. So now that we've assembled the trombone, we have to learn how to hold it. First thing we want to do is give me a big thumbs up with your left hand. We're going to take our left thumb and put it over the brace in between the bell and the slide. Just like this. Okay, With the fingers on our left hand, we're going to take our pointer finger or index finger and place it where the mouthpiece goes into the receiver. The three remaining fingers will curl underneath just like this. Okay, All of that again in slow motion looks like this. Thumbs up with our left hand over the brace, index finger where the mouthpiece meets the receiver, three remaining fingers curl underneath. That's the left hand grip. The right hand is going to grab this cross brace of the outer slide. What we're going to do first is disengage the slide lock so that the slide is able to move. You'll notice that when I'm ready to do this, the pinky on my left hand is always underneath this cross brace. This is a backup plan in case this is not engaged and I let go of the slide. This prevents the slide from falling on the floor and getting damaged. So let's undo the slide lock and our slide is now free to move. Our right hand is going to take two fingers and our thumb just like this and grab this cross brace here. We're now ready to play the trombone. The first note we're going to learn how to play is an F. What you'll need to know about the slide is that it has seven positions. And it's going to take some muscle memory and time to learn where those positions are. The very first one we're going to learn, called first position, is simply the slide all the way in. What we're going to do next is, just like we buzzed into the mouthpiece on its own, we're going to buzz into the mouthpiece now that it's inserted to the trombone. An F sounds like this.
Now, if you tried to play that F and a different note came out than what I played, for example, if this note came out, don't worry, you've done all the right things, you're in the right position with your slide, you just need to blow a little faster air into the instrument to get it to go up to the F. The second note we're going to learn how to play is an E flat. E flat is played in third position, which, if you're using the bell for reference, this cross brace is just before this bell. Okay, e, or a third position looks like this. And E flat sounds like this. The third note we're going to learn how to play is D. D is played in fourth position, which is just a little bit further out than the E flat we just learned. Using the bell as a reference point, we're going to move our slide until the end of the slide is even with the bell. Taking a big breath and buzzing into the mouthpiece just like before, D sounds like this. The fourth note we're going to learn how to play is a C. C is played in sixth position, which is almost the end of the slide. For young trombonists, this simply might be just as far as you can reach. Sixth position looks like this, and C sounds like this. The fifth note we're going to learn how to play is B flat. Just like the first note that we learned how to play, B flat is played in first position, which is the slide all the way into the stop. Taking a big breath, we're going to blow slower air than when we played F. B flat sounds like this. Congratulations, you're now a professional trombonist, and you can rent your trombone online at tapstreammusic.com. Thank you.